Hey folks, today we're going to take a look at a game that is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter, an expansion that is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter, to be very specific. That is Intercosmos, the expansion for Space Race, the card game from Board Cubator Games. Now, if you like what you see throughout the rest of this preview video, I will mention up top that you should go to the official Kickstarter project page to find out a ton more information, see stretch goals, things like that. You can do that by following the link in the top corner of your screen, as well as down in the description section underneath this video. You don't have to take my word for any of this. You can go there, find out more information, and hopefully consider backing the project. Now, Inner Cosmos, like I said, it's the expansion for Space Race, uh, and you need that game in order to use this expansion. Now, if you are interested in knowing more about Space Race, of course, there are many, uh, the, the, just the base game, there are many resources out there. I did a review of Space Race, a full opinionated review, and you can check that out. That is not what this video is. This is just a preview of the expansion, so I'm not going to give you my full and final opinion on it, but I just want to show you everything that's in it, see how it relates and works back with the base game, and then we'll talk about it a bit more at the end. But basically what the expansion does is add more stuff for the existing mechanics of Space Race, turn some things on their head a little bit by adding some new th ways that the cards can work, adds brand new elements like achievements and scenarios, so on and so forth. Let me go ahead and give you a quick look at this expansion with a prototype copy, so please do bear in mind that this is not exactly what the final version is going to look like. They use temporary artwork, they reuse some artwork, you'll see that, but do know that that will change in the final version. Then we're going to come back and we will discuss it further. Intercosmos is the first expansion for the card game Space Race, and you will need that base game in order to make use of this. It adds on to several existing elements of the base game, but also adds some brand new elements as well. Let's start with the fact that you can now play with a fifth player. The Chinese Space Agency enters the fray with its own set of control cards. You only need to change the game slightly to accommodate a fifth player putting more cards in the universe it's set up, including unexplored cards, and revealing an additional card during preparation for the next decade phase. Otherwise, everything is the same. Scenarios are a brand new way to play the game. They add thematic and historical context to your game sessions, while also giving you a fresh new way to play the game. For example, this scenario, Dawn of an Era, represents the start of the space race specifically between the US and the Soviet Union during the Cold War. The gameplay and available cards during setup are tweaked to focus on the cards representative of that period of time, but there are other changes throughout the different phases and even scoring that also add to the theme. Achievements are also brand new. They're an extra way to get development points during the course of the game by meeting certain goals. There are three different sets of achievement cards based on different types of goals, card types, agency levels, and miscellaneous. You'll shuffle them separately and randomly use two card achievements, two agency level achievements, and two miscellaneous achievements, face up near the universe. Card achievements require that you have certain cards in your agency. Agency level achievements require a certain amount of levels of different card types, and miscellaneous can be anything from specific ability use to cards in hand. Claiming an achievement requires foregoing your ability for the current go-around of the stage, and you must give up an unused control card to slide it underneath the achievement and denote that you've made it. Only the first three players get points for claiming the achievement, either four, two, or one point, respectively. Finally, there are brand new cards for each of the different card types, and some brand new abilities and effects. For example, some cards now have mandatory building costs, which require you to return a card from your hand to the bottom of the deck. If you don't, something bad will happen, like being forced to cover the ability on the card. Some cards have differing effects dependent on the level of the current control card or even dependent on past control cards that you've played. Other cards might have an X in the ability icon. This works in basically the same way, as you'll have to refer to your control cards and see what variable goes there. Breakthrough cards also have changes. Some cards count for two breakthrough categories, but by placing them in your agency, you will no longer be able to have friendly ties with your opponents and will score no points for those categories if you do indeed tie. Other cards have grayed out symbols and count as zero, one, or two categories. You only get to count them for the categories if you've played one or two control cards of a specific type beyond the first one. And that is all the new stuff in Space Race Intercosmos. 
Now, look, for any expansion, of course, it's going to be very dependent on how you felt about the base game. And I think that if you are a fan of Space Race, this is definitely going to be one that you at least want to check out. Go to the Kickstarter page and find out more information because it does add a lot of stuff to that game. In addition to the fact, the new stuff, which we'll get back to in a second, just the fact that it adds more cards to all of the existing elements of the game uh, should put you on notice that this is something you want to consider because, of course, any game, when uh, you've played it enough times, you might be like, I've seen the same cards over and over again. This can inject some new blood into it, and you do have uh, not just in quantity of cards for the four existing card types from Space Race, but the fact that they have brand new abilities on them in new and interesting ways uh, to use them. And uh, so you definitely want to keep that in mind. But there's also the fact that there are these brand new elements. The scenario uh, is another, a uh, scenario booklet is another way that is going to so, sort of bring new life to the game for those who have played it a ton of times. Because not just thematically and historically you're getting um, some elements of the game to help you bring out that theme a bit more but just tweaking the rules in little ways, forcing you to play with certain cards and not with other cards, and using them in ways different than the base game, it's just forcing you to reconsider your strategies, reconsider how you play the game in the first place. But then you have those achievement cards, which, uh, you know, there's other games that have done the achievement system, but how it's handled here is very interesting because there's tons of them, <laughs> and uh, but you're only going to play with a few each time. So again, you can never be reliant on a strategy like, oh, I'm just going to go for that achievement. That's an easy one. We might not have it this time, and now you have to force yourself to play in a different way, focus on something different that's outside of your comfort zone. Uh, but, you know, it, it's also a race because everyone can p- potentially get the achievement, but only the first three people are going to get the points for it. So it can be a bit of a tense thing to add to the game. And it is a game where you're already doing a lot of different stuff with the cards and having to pay attention to a lot of different things now you're adding another element to it but for players who like that tension who want some more challenge and another thing that you have to you know beat back the other players to get to first that's definitely something to consider adding to your games uh and just the fact that you know you can have a fifth player might be enticing enough for some people to get this expansion uh because your first base game goes to four players that's fine for a lot of people but there's always that conundrum when you have a game night Fifth player. Well, that limits our options quite a bit. We really want to play this game, and now we can't. Now with the expansion, you can. And it's like with the bare minimum of tweaking necessary to the setup and to the end of round prep, or uh, start of the next round prep. That's that's basically like all you have to do to get that fifth player to work here. So again, with any expansion, it's going to come down to, did you like the base game? Did you like the base game? game, but maybe a little something extra to it would have made it more interesting to you, more likely to play it. All these different reasons. I mean, check this out. I mean, you don't have to take my word for any of this. Go to the page. See what all is here, but also the stretch goals they have planned to add even more to it. Anytime they do it, uh, anytime anyone does a Kickstarter for an expansion, there's usually a ton of extra stuff added to it. Um, And so definitely check that out because, again, for people who love the game already or like the game already, this is just going to be more, hopefully, of what they do like or love. But uh, if it was something that maybe you were on the fence about, maybe this will push you over that edge. Go to the page, find out more information, and hopefully consider backing the project. That is Intercosmos, the first expansion for Space Race, a card game from Borg Thank you so much for watching, as always, and for supporting our sponsors. Take care.